All right, welcome back to the channel. We are taking a little break from FJ40 stuff because I'm going to be building my engine next week with Tony. You guys will see that probably a little further down the line, but I got a product here I ordered a while back. I want to try it. It's Cerakote MC5100 and it is designed... Okay, I originally bought it to paint my polished aluminum wheels, but I got a little afraid that it might peel. So we're going to try it on something smaller. We're going to try it on this Canon intake manifold for my 73 Celica. It's made to hook the Webers up. So I don't think you've seen it yet, but we got a pair of these Webers here, uh, Weber 45s, I believe. Probably won't even say on the box. Just says Weber carburetor. But uh, the part number's there. I believe they're 44s or 45s. So I got this old school Canon intake manifold and it's freshly bead blasted. Um, there's a bunch of other work done to it. It's been port matched to the head and to the carbs, so it'll flow as good as it can. But today's episode is about the Cerakote MC-5100. And uh, we're gonna try it on this raw piece of aluminum. Um, I kind of fought with what color I paint it, and the more I looked at the carburetors and realized if I polish it, it stands too much out too much um or there's too much polish on the engine when i already have a custom cam cover that you guys see we'll get to see in a couple months i'm in the middle of making that as well so let's get into this let's apply the mc5100 clear designed for putting on to uh bare aluminum let's see how it works all right so this is a canon intake it's uh, sold from Redline Weber, but this is an old school one. Um, part number is, we'll flip her around, 853. And this one will not be like any one that you could buy because it's port matched to the Webers properly and it's port matched to the head. So this is going to flow really nice. Now, I've picked up some of this, I've never used this product. Cerakote MC5100. It's meant to go for polished aluminum and raw aluminum, etc. So this thing was also blasted or bead blasted clean. So I think we're just, I struggled on what color to put on here, but the more I look at it, I think it'll look good with the carbs. Um, just getting some raw aluminum. Everything else is painted. We might as well have that. That way, I don't think I want to polish it because the cam cover, the custom one that I have making is going to be that way. So I'm going to take it inside, wash it with hot water and Dawn dish soap as per instructions of the microfiber. And uh, we'll let her dry with the compressed air. And then it'll sit for an hour or so and then we'll come back and uh, paint this thing with the clear. All right, I'm in the kitchen working on washing car parts. Go to wash it with the Dawn dish soap. Apparently it, and then we'll just blow dry it after that. So it feels a little weird, but it's like not like any different than washing dishes. <laughs> I've got a place I can handle here without leaving finger grease on it, but I've masked off where the gasket surfaces are. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but if it does cause a problem, you would hate to have it not sealing. Um, so it's cleaned. Now we're gonna go into this. I believe you gotta just shake it up. It's the MC5100. It's meant for polished aluminum, like I said, and raw aluminum parts. So shake it up, put in the gun. Um, what I'm using is a PPS system, so the cups actually have strainers built in. Uh, we'll use this guy, we'll coat it. it. I don't know, I couldn't get a response in half a day, which is fair on whether or not we have flash time between coats. So what I'm gonna do is load up the gun and give it a spray and then uh, probably let it flash a little bit between, it said two to three coats, so. All right, we'll have it zoomed on just the part here so you can see what's going on. But uh, yeah, let's get this blown off. 
get this going. And I think I see two more things I kind of want to tape here. Well, I wasn't sure what to expect when I sprayed it. It was pretty dark. Um, you can see where it's bled through the tape here a little bit. And uh, you can kind of see that so much color change it's had. But now it came back in here and it's actually lightened up and matted up a bit. Like not quite as shiny, um, which is good for this piece got a little bit of gloss to it and I did a test out of something shiny and if you it appears to me that if I spray it on something shiny it retains its gloss and if it's on something matte or textured it kind of tries to get back to the way you sent it so I'm very happy about that we'll let it dry up now this has been about two hours or, or so of dry time at this point all right we got better lighting now it's daytime and i wanted to show you guys uh the color difference here it matches fairly well i noticed this aluminum is darker than this stuff but this and this are now the same color so that'll work really well all right we got eye candy here and I'm very happy with the result. Um, it's exactly the same color, especially in the engine bay, you'll, you'll never see the difference. I kind of assembled it because it's cool to look at and uh, keep an eye out guys. We'll be building up that engine. It is pretty modified, uh, a modified tractor engine as they like to say. Nobody builds an 18RC nowadays, but I figured I would. So that video will be coming once we get the work done. But I thought you guys might enjoy a sneak peek of some of the fun that's coming for this car. Um, yeah, so until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.